Hey guys, Ross here. Thanks for joining me for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature Ariana and Evans Kaizen. So I've got the soap loaded up here in my Simpson Trafalgar T3 synthetic brush. Uh, I did load this for really is just about 20 seconds. So not a very long load time. Something that you'll probably want to take note of and I'll get into it a little bit here. Let me wet my face and we'll get right into it. All right. So Kaizen is the latest base from Ariana and Evans. And Kaizen means to constantly improve. Ariana and Evans has been really working hard over the last year to push out new iterations and different formulas. And this first offering is quite, quite outstanding. The purpose of Kaizen really was to sort of improve in all metrics, which I recently was able to um, acquire and review the Cannibalist Santal, which is the uh, previous iteration to Kaizen in terms of the base, and that was already absolutely outstanding. Kaizen aims to um, improve in basically all the metrics that you would look for, slickness, residual slickness, the ease of lather, the post shave, anything a wet shaver would like to have those high metrics. What I can tell you is, uh, again, I only loaded this for about 20 seconds. The first time I use this, I am typically a classic overloader. Um, I usually just like to ensure that I don't have to worry about not having enough soap at any point during my shave. When I go to lather for a second, sometimes third time. And uh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> I spent uh, a very, very long time trying to dial it in when uh, I could have just saved myself a lot of time and just and loaded less soap. That said, I would say Kaizen is, uh, it teeters on the thirsty side, but it's not, uh, it, it's not a lot really. It doesn't require a lot of water but it can take a lot of water. So really, whatever your preference is in terms of how your lather looks, it's not coming through very well due to my lighting here in this bathroom, but uh, this soap for me, it develops the most sheen I've ever seen on a, uh, in a lather for me. And I always like to try to push the limits a little bit with hydration. And as you can see, it's starting to, uh, it's definitely starting to get a little bit on the droopy side. So it's definitely got plenty of water built into this. So I think I'm pretty much good to go. I don't have much growth either, so should be plenty. So for today's shave, we're going to be going with the West Coast Shaving Charcoal Goods DE. It's got a fresh Gillette Silver Blue, and I've only got about a day's growth, so 
really this will probably just be a, a solid one pass with some cleanup. So the Kaizen scent is quite nice. I would classify it as uh, primarily citrusy. It's got notes of mandarin, bergamot, lemon peel, neroli, honeysuckle, green apple, rose, tobacco absolute, Haitian vetiver, sandalwood, and cedarwood. So quite a list of scent notes, but I primarily get the sweeter um, citrusy notes, especially sort of the green apple. I think I'm definitely picking up a good bit of the green apple. But the mandarin and lemon peel, they certainly give it that, uh, that citrusy, I don't want to say blast, but just that, that presence right out of the gates. And I believe that uh, for me, it's, it seems like the, uh, maybe the sandalwood and the cedar wood sort of being the um, darker sort of base notes to this. Um, I think it ensures that the citrusy notes don't get too carried away or too overbearing from a sweetness standpoint. It's, uh, it's really, really quite pleasant. I think you could, uh, you could get away with shaving with this and, and utilizing this for really any occasion. I can tell you the um, the slickness on this is it's it's amazing. Um, it is definitely one of the slickest soaps that I have used to date. And although I am not using a straight razor at the moment, uh, when I initially tried this base, it um, I did use a straight razor, and I had to utilize a towel really the whole time in order to to be able to keep a grip and, and stretch my skin as I needed to because the, the soap and the residual slickness was, um, was not allowing me to really stretch my face as I needed to. Now, the, uh, this base is tallow-based. It does contain lanolin and pig fat, amongst other ingredients. But really, it, it, this is a, an outstanding soap. I'm definitely very impressed with it. I think this is a really nice first offering from Ariane Evans. And I know that they've uh, already been posting about more upcoming releases featured in this base. So I'm anxious to see what they come out with. It is kind of funny that um, as I mentioned, I just recently tried the Cannibalist Santal and that base had uh, really sort of blown me away. And then to be able to try this one so soon after, um, certainly a, a treat. I 
I think if, uh, if you have not tried this bass, I would certainly suggest checking it out. See what you think. I'm just, I'm barely using any pressure at all. And this, this razor is just, just gliding. The lather density is, is outstanding too. All right, perfect. Just a drama free shave right there. Now, this also will come with a matching splash. I do not actually have that at present, but it does have a matching splash. And just for today, I'm gonna finish it off with fine Lorange Noir. It has sort of that uh, citrusy element to it. And I have zero sting, zero burn. Just a really, really comfortable and smooth shave. So yeah, so that's Kaizen, the latest bass from Ariana Nevins. The scent, fantastic. Uh, the performance, even better. Um, it is, it's up there for me right now. It is certainly one of the top basses um, that I have tried to date. Uh, so I, I look forward to seeing what else Ariana Nevins comes out with. I think, uh, I think they're definitely on the right track in terms of the performance and the basses that, that they've come out with. Um, somehow they've, they've just seemed to be getting better. So, um, I think this would be, would be hard to top for them for a while. Well, that's it for me guys. I hope you all enjoyed the shave. I know I did look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.